What's up world? I'm Breezy and I'm back with another mixtape review. I know it's been a while, but just, you know, just bear with me. I'm trying to get in the swing of things and this mixtape kind of gave me a hard time. I'm not even gonna lie. Today, I'm reviewing Rod D's Hanger 31 and um, he's an artist from Greensboro, North Carolina. I really like his music. I was familiar with him before the mixtape dropped. So when it released, I was already looking forward to it before I had even planned on reviewing it. So most it's his lyrics. I think that he says things that matter. Um, he doesn't just rap just to rap, just to be cool. Like it seems like some people do. He doesn't, he's not a trend rapper. He doesn't rap about what everybody else is rapping about. He raps about what he wants to rap about. He's saying what he wants to say and he's doing it in a good way. Like um, he has wordplay. He's creative with what he says. He's not always straightforward. He's not, the album wasn't, or the mixtape was not full of wordplay, but it wasn't void of it either. So I really like that. Um, I also like that he was versatile. He, the way he raps or just the way his whole mixtape was set up, anybody can listen to it. It's not like a guy's mixtape. It's not a girl mixtape. It's something for everybody of all genders and all ages, except for maybe like 14 and under. Um, so being able to work with all audiences, that's something that I don't see all the time from all underground artists or just all artists in general so i really have to point that out and commend him for that on this mixtape because it's not easy to do he was cool not well he probably is cool but the mixtape was cool the feel of it like that's just the vibe that i got it's very cool it's very soulful and i have to give a shout out to sky music for producing this mixtape and giving us these nice beats he had really good samples and the beats fit his sound like i think that if he had went with another producer or tried to go for a different type of beat it wouldn't have sounded right it would it wouldn't sound as authentic as it did it really illustrated how he is as an artist, to me, I feel like I know a little bit more about him as an artist just from listening to this one mixtape. And with that being said, I want to go into the fourth thing that I like about this mixtape, which is his authenticity. I think that he rapped about what he has experienced, what he believes in, how he feels. Like I said before, he doesn't do it for a trend. I don't think he's saying anything because everybody else is saying it. I think he's saying things because that's how he feels. And that is what I think is like a a part of what hip hop is. You know, rapping about what you feel, rapping about what you're going through. Um, if, he, if I read his lyrics on paper, it would still make sense. It would still sound like a piece of creative writing or something like that and that's what makes a good song so that should have been the first thing that I liked about the mixtape now that I'm talking about it but he's very authentic and um that's very rare nowadays so I really like that the fifth thing I liked about this mixtape was track number two which is called one time this my uh, I'm so soulful, man. Throwing all my passion and protrude there. I recite a plan, trying to cut me a coup. Fantasizing what I want to do to Miss Badu. Ooh, life's a bitch and she wet in the sheets. Tender love and care like I'm out. Time is my favorite song on the mixtape. It's a really feel good song. It's really encouraging to me. And I think it was a great way to start the mixtape besides the intro, which was really good. And I don't think that one time should have replaced the intro or anything like that. But. I think that it was the perfect fit when it comes to the placement. I just really enjoy listening to it. It's just my favorite song. Not, I'm not even gonna go deep into it about lyricism and the message and all of that. It's just my favorite song. So now for the top five things minus two that I don't like about this mixtape. The very first thing I didn't like about the mixtape, it wasn't I don't want you guys to think that just because I like don't like it, that, that means that I thought it was horrible. I just think that it's a flaw. That's the top five flaws of the mixtape. That's what I'm going to say. So the first flaw of the mixtape was his flow. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. He can rap. 
but um, it's no different than anything else that I have really heard. It's very typical. Um, he raps to the beats. It isn't, his lyrics are creative, but his flow is not. You know, his lyrics are, you know, that's his thing. His lyricism is his thing, but his flow is not his thing. It's kind of like everybody's thing. So that's what I did not like about that. Um, the mixtape was too short to me. And I guess that's just my personal opinion. I'm just complaining about it. Really, it doesn't mess up the mixtape. This is just my time to complain. So that's what I'm doing. I'm complaining. The mixtape was too short. It was eight tracks, 25 minutes. Like, it's like he got to the point and he ended it. I wish I could have had more because when it ended, I was listening to track one like, whoa, I, this sound sounds like a song I heard before. And then I realized the whole mixtape had started over. And I was like, dang. So I really wish that he would have gave us more. Um, like I said, it doesn't ruin the project, but it's just something that I would have wanted. And then the last thing, which I'm going to make it number five since I, it's supposed to be the top five. So the, number, the fifth thing that I didn't like about this mixtape is song number four. Praying to the higher power, smoking on some sour. That midget keep me frigid, turn me up a couple volumes. Me and Sky standing here looking like twin towers. Finger fuck to these fuck niggas, the world's ours. And every 60 seconds I wreck it, I feel dour. Angry by what? the fact Um, like I said, I really like the mixtape as a whole, but I just feel like number four just didn't fit to me. It just. And maybe that was him trying to do something different, but I just don't think it worked. I think it sounds forced um, because it's a little hard. It is harder than all the other tracks. And it's just thrown in the middle and it kind of throws me off a little bit. I don't think the song is bad and I'm sure that a lot of people like it, but my personal preference is it was forced. I feel like the reason, don't put this in my head, I'm not trying to say that I know what he was doing when it comes to the creative process, this is just how I feel, that it kind of was like, everybody else has that hard track, like I just feel like this was kind of like a, I, have, I should do it or I have to do it more than this is what I feel, this is what I want to do, I feel like everything else was 100% real, this was probably like 80% real or something like that, so that is the last thing. I think we give this mixtape, um, I was thinking like a four out of, what is it, out of five? Yeah. Okay, I could go with that. Okay, so we give this mixtape a four. Coco had to give her two cents in. I hope she was in the shot. But we give this mixtape a four. So that is really, really good. It just had a couple things that I didn't really like about it. But overall, I do listen to it on the way to school. I do listen to it on the way to work. Not just because I have to review it, but just to enjoy it. Um, download the mixtape. It will be available on the home page. Uh, it will be available for streaming on the website. So check that out. I'll have the link in the description. Follow me. Follow Rod D at the real Rod D. That's his Twitter name. Download Hangar Thirty One. Um, check out What's Up World Radio. It's coming. To forget to tune in. Ten PM. Blog Talk Radio is gonna be all over my feed. So if you're not following me yet, you need to hurry up and do that so you can get up on game. And I will be back really, really soon. I got a couple more mixtape reviews for you guys. So I'm about to be cranking them out this week. So look forward to that. Watch all the other videos that you haven't watched. Check out some episodes of What's Up Radio that you have not listened to. And don't forget to go on the official site and listen to all the great underground music that I have up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Uh. Uh. Thirty one until I'm yo. Sometimes I wonder if this life is really made for me. I guess I'm rapping with the gift that God gave to me. Ain't that ironic playing Sonic with my brother Tony? And I enjoy this more when ain't nobody know me. But that's the game that you playing when you writing your life down. Searching for flows to put them all in the right sound. See, I got next, but got respect.